<laughs> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here for another review. We're going to be talking about this little box mod today. This is a little single 18650 banger from USV, United Society of Vape. I have been having a really good time with it, and I wanted to do a review for this mod because I've been using it so much. It's one of those mods that I didn't want to just fall off of the YouTube radar. That, that, tends, to, that tends to happen sometimes. There's some things where I'm just using, and it's like it's in the vlog a lot and then it's in other places a lot and it's on social media a lot and then it, it just never it kind of fizzles out it never just gets a review I didn't want this mod to go down that same road I didn't want it to fall by the wayside because I think it is a pretty stellar little single 18650 mod and in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better what we're gonna do is go up close as we often do quick and short up and close time yeah Mm -mm. All right, yeehaw, what we have here is the single 18650 80-watt box mod from USV, United Society of Vape, and you can see on this side, it's it looks weird on video, but it's just a record player texture. It's just engraved, slightly engraved in a circular pattern. It doesn't feel weird or anything. It actually feels kind of kind of cool when, when you hold it. It makes it nice and textured. The battery and the display and everything are all hidden underneath here, but it's easy enough to access. On the front, you just have a very almost flush mount mounted very clicky square fire button on the other side they laser etched my grim green logo on there which is always nice but doesn't necessarily make it a better mod but they did a good job and it actually looks pretty cool i'm a big fan of this like uh silverish gunmetal looking material color i like it branded usv on the top spring loaded 510 pin and that's literally all there is to it all these panels slide off so if you want to see your display you kind of just Put your finger on this USV logo and you slide it out and then you can see your display underneath there. And if you really want to see your display, you take the whole thing off. As you can see, this is locked. Let's unlock it. One, two, three. Yeah, there's your full display right there. This is powered by VO Chip, which is, uh, I don't know exactly who's behind that company. I think it has something to do with Synthetic Cloud. I think it has something to do with maybe Cloud Kicker Society. I'm honestly not 100% sure, but I've seen the VO chips in uh, in a lot of mods, especially from Cloud Kicker Society, which leads me to believe it's some sort of partnership with them. Anyway, doesn't really matter. It is a very nice chip. It does wattage. It does temp control. It does curves, if that's what you're into, which I am not. I just stick it at straight wattage, and this has been at about 45 watts just because I've been running the wake tank on it. Single 18650. Haven't felt the need to go any higher than that. And all these panels do come off, so you can expose it completely down to just the bare bones plastic mod. All of this in here is plastic with the exception of the top it's aluminum the battery sled is very clearly marked positive goes down negative goes up the negative is spring loaded so you just drop your battery in there you kind of just pop these side panels on I just put them on flat like that and boop they just slide down same thing over here put it on flat over here and boop it just slides down I really love the aesthetics of this mod I think it looks cool classy simple it's not noisy it's not loud in any way there's not a whole lot going on it's just got kind of of a cool texture, a cool button. It's cool and square and boxy. And it's not sharp in any way. There's that other Vupu Alpha 1 mod out there that is very, very sharp in a lot of places. This is actually comfortable to hold because all these edges are rounded very slightly. All the corners are rounded. All of the edges are rounded. So it doesn't feel pointy when you grab it. It doesn't feel like it's like digging into your palm or anything like that. It actually feels pretty comfortable to hold and it's a nice little size for a single 18650 guy. But that's really all there is to see up close and personal with this. So I'm going to reattach my wake tank right here. We're going to get back out to normal view and we are going to vape it. So yeah, there's not really a lot to this mod. It's a very simple box. It is rounded on the corners, like I said, so it doesn't feel pointy in any way. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold, and I like the size of it. It fits in my hand really well. My absolute favorite thing about this mod is how clean it looks. There's no, there's not a whole lot going on. You have this textured here, and then it's clean, and then, you know, they put my logo over here, which is still very cool, but even without this logo, I would really like this to just be clean, and I like that it's clean 
clean and it's a button and I know that my wattage is set to 45 degrees, which is 45 degrees, 45 watts. I know my wattage is set to 45 watts under here because I don't change it because this is the wake tank and that's where I like this tank. And because all the controls are covered up by this little plate right here, you're never in any danger of accidentally adjusting your wattage in any scenario. You could throw this in a backpack, in a purse, in your pocket, it's, it's whatever. You can just one, two, three, lock it. It's very easy to do. You don't even need to look at the display to make sure it's locked, although you probably should. You probably could do that just to be extra safety precautionary measures. But 10 times out of 10, I'm just carrying this with me. I hit the button three times. I'm confident that it's locked. I press the button. Yeah, uh, nothing's happened. And then a quick one, two, three. I know that it's unlocked and now I can vape it. I always hold a very special place in my heart for small little single 18650 box mods that I can take with me out of the house, maybe with a little sub-ohm tank, and get a satisfying vape when I'm away from my home base and I have a little something smaller to hold with me. This is about as big as I would want to, you know, this is about as big as I feel comfortable holding a single 18650 mod. Generally, I like them to be a little bit smaller, like that Joytech Evic Primo Mini. It's just a, it's just a cool, tiny little guy that I loved. I took it with me to San Francisco and it was just a great little mod to have in your pocket. And because I can run this wake tank at 45 watts, I get a pretty decent battery life out of this single 18650 battery. I'm not pushing it to its, you know, I'm not pushing it to its limits as far as like, uh, you know, amp loads or anything like that. It's a 0.5 at 45 watts. I get a nice long battery life. Now this mod is not cheap. Looking over across the internet, I found it on VaporDNA.com for about $70. Clicking on the USV site, they have one, the limited edition one is $70, but all of the other ones, the black one and the teal one and the there's another one. There's another color that I can't remember, but the black one and the teal one and the other color are all $79. So yeah, you're gonna need some vape budget hands. As for me, let's play the Aliens game, let's play the FDA game. They come and take everything. I have nothing left. Is this USV box mod something I would seek out and buy? Yes, I like it. I really like it. I need to have a smaller single 18650 mod in my collection because I use them so frequently. And this has over time proven to be just one of my favorites. It fits well in my pocket. I don't have to worry about adjusting things. And overall, I don't think I said this enough. Aesthetically, I just, I really like the way this box looks. I feel like it's kind of a cool, clean, classy looking box. And now that there's great tanks out there that don't need a fuck ton of wattage to get some good performance out of, like this wake tank with the sub-ohm coil head, which is still going strong, by the way, I can make this my little uh, leave in the house daily banger, even inside the house daily banger. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm just a really big fan of it. I get that it's not going to be for everybody. I personally like having the display hidden. Looking at a big display on a mod is not something that I'm really super into. I like the clean lines of this. I love how it looks. And I, like I said, I really do like having that display covered. And it's not a pain in the ass to check. You just kind of do one of these things and you can look and go, oh, okay, yeah, it's set to 45 watts. There's my battery. Cool. Close it. Don't even worry about it. Just vape it. Anyway, enough rambling. I do really like this and I'll throw some links down in the description to where you can check it out if you are interested. But anyway, yeah, that's what I got everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.